Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Section 415, direct continuation from what we were doing yesterday, but now we're going to mix up weak bases and weak acids. Yesterday you were only given information about acids, now we're going to twist things a little bit. These are considerably more difficult, so we're going to slow down, we're going to do a lot of practice on this, and it should work out really well. These will be five mark questions. It's the token five mark question in chapter four, and it's 100% guaranteed to be on quizzes, tests, and your final. So here's the kicker. We are dealing with weak bases. Weak bases don't have KAs, they have KBs, and they don't make H3O+, plus. they make OH-. minus. So those are the two differences. So when this question says, what is the pH of 0.1 molar solution NaCN, well, I'm even being more of a jerk by giving you a salt. Ignore the Na, identify Cn minus as a weak base. Weak base makes OH minus. So these aren't Ka questions, they're Kb questions. So my little stencil, my little stencil from yesterday is completely in effect. I'm having Kb equals x squared over C naught minus x. But x is now OH minus. So you write out the hydrolysis of Cn minus like I have here in red. Put your ice table, ignore the liquid exactly like we did yesterday, and fill in what you know. The initial concentration is 0.1. The rest of the things at equilibrium initially are zero. Okay? We need to find the pH, which really means X. So OH at equilibrium is X. These are going to go up by X, and this is going to go down by X. We're going to follow it with our KB expression this time, not KA, KB, where we then have to calculate KB, so there's an extra step here as well, painstaking, KW divided by the KA, that represents CN minus as a base, equals X squared over 0.1 minus X, products over reactants, assume 0.1 minus X is approximately equal to 0.1, and solve. So we've got Kw over 4.9 times 10 to the negative 10. We got that from the chart looking up Cn minus on the right side. x squared over 0.1. Rearrange all this, square root it. We're going to get x is this crazy number here. And remember, that is OH minus. So now we need to think back to section 411 and convert OH minus into pH, and that takes two steps. We're going to negative log OH minus to give me POH of 2.845. 14 minus that number of POH will give me a pH of 11.15. Very long questions. Very easy to make mistakes throughout this, so slow down when we try these tomorrow. I'm going to give you one more twist, and then we'll call it a day with this video here. I'm giving you the POH is 10.64, that's like your X. Here is the initial concentration, 0 0.50 molar solution. It's telling you that it's a weak acid. So I'm giving you the POH of a weak acid. Now I need to calculate the KB. So this isn't actually a KB weak base question. You're starting with a weak acid. So this is a Ka question that you then convert to a Kb at the end. Yeah, you're probably pressing stop about now. This is a tricky one. Okay, don't, don't get too concerned. Weak acid HA, write out the ionization. Follow it with your ice table. Plug in what you know. The initial concentration is 0.5. At equilibrium, those are zero. You're given the pOH, 10.64. That's in the wrong units. We don't want pOH. We want to go to pH, 10 to the negative pH, to get H3O+. Now, that number is the concentration of H3O+, at equilibrium. Litter your ice table with that number, plug in everything straight up into your calculator, take your time, 
check your brackets, you're going to get 3.81 to the negative 7. But that is a Ka, remember. We need Kb. So the last step is taking your Kw divided by the Kb, and you're going to get 2.6 to the negative 8. Oh my goodness. A lot of stuff going on. We're going to really focus our attention in groups tomorrow. It is going to work out tomorrow.